ADA, we start with one hour chart. First of all, if we refer to our analysis in my last video, because at that time, the price was exactly within this move. And we mentioned we're looking for this correction in relative to this. That's why I mentioned if you get any trace at all for buy, we will take it. And this is exactly what we expected and what we get. Because we mentioned if there is a continuation with the breakout of the desktop, we need to price retest our break 1.35. Okay. And as we can see, the price almost break 1.35 with the breakout of the previous top, even reach 1.4. But there was no continuation. And after that, we see the price drop. Okay. But anyway, Based on one hour chart, there was no trade setup from here unless we trade based on lower time frame. Because if we refer to our analysis, I mentioned if you want one of the options to look for trade was because at that time we had the correction here. I mentioned if we get any drop, we can put a warning tree above the top. That's why we put if the price dropped to 1.185, then any reverse out from there will take the trade. But as we can see, there wasn't the price didn't drop and there was a continuation. All right. But as what we expected. Because at that time, we have been looking for this correction as what we expected the price continue and even a retest 1.4. But as I mentioned, based on one hour chart within this one, there was no trade setup. Because we have been looking for buy from here. And for those traders, it's still they keep the trade from here is good for them. Now we want to see what's the next. And if we move to daily chart, the only thing is we wanted to see the breakout of 1.51, okay, which is the previous top. But as we can see, the price almost tag 1.4, even didn't reach 1.51, 1, then it start to correct. Now, the only question is whether this is the start of the uh, up move and this is the only correction, or we can expect this one turn to a more complex correction. Because right now, we need to be quite careful about this flat. If the price cannot break 1.51, 1, we need to be quite careful from this flat. Because if this one turned to a flat, we can expect to get one more drop similar to what we have here. And the next down move may even the price can break of 1.0. That's mean we can expect to break out of one, which we don't like it. Okay. And the only things I want to highlight from now, we need to be quite careful about this flat. All right. And how to look for trade. We move to a lower time frame. We want to see whether we can look for trade or not. Because what as what I explained right now, is still we can looking for one more up. That's meaning still we can we are expecting for price for continuation. And we are expecting the price to tag 1.51. If the price can break this line, it's good for us. If not, at that time we need to be quite careful about this. But as I explained based on a daily chart. All right. And right now, based on forward chart, what we have here. We're looking at this correction. All right, you want to see how we can look at this one. Technically, we, we are expecting to, I mean, if you want to look at the chart in terms of the technical analysis, since we have this sharp move following by correction, we can expect, if they give us one more drop, if this one turned to flat, any continuation, any trade setup from there, we will take it. Okay, now the only question is, the first question is whether we can get one more drop and how high this one can go. Because, if we want to look at this one as a flat, even we can expect for this one for continuation for the price to retest at least 1.4, then from there we get one more drop. And the next drop, if we want to put in relative to this, we don't need to wait for the price to retest this low. All right. That's mean if there is a continuation, any drop, when this one turns to a flat, any reversal from there, we will take the trade. By the way, based on forward chart, we don't have any trade setup. And the best thing is if we move to one hour chart. Okay. And right now, what I'm looking for, I'm looking at this one. Okay. The first thing is, as I explained, based on forward chart, we're putting this one, this move as a correction relative to this. If this one gives us one more drop, we can expect this one tend to flat. Any continuation from there, we'll take it. But first things again, we're looking at this. What I'm expecting, I'm expecting this one turn to a correction. And relative to this, I'm expecting to get one more warp with the breakout of this correction. If the price, there is a continuation from there, we will keep the trade. That's mean if we get any trade within this move, we will take it. If with the breakout of this, we see the price cannot continue, we cannot see the breakout of 1.4, then any drop from there, we can expect this one turn to a flat. Any reversal from there, we will take it. That's mean, in the bigger picture, we want to see one more warp. We want to see the correction. Then any continuation from there, we will take it. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. And 
whether we should look for trade within this one in relative to this if we get any trade setup we will take it but we consider it as a short term all right and the reasons we want to get this trade if we get any trade setup in case this is the start of the up move similar to what we get here we were expecting for the price to drop but it didn't there was a continuation okay now the, at the first stage we're looking at this one as a first wave internal correction any trade from here we will take it and with the breakout of this stop we start to manage what i mean by start to manage move or stop loss to break even if there is a continuation we will keep the trade but after the breakout of the desktop the i mean the top of this correction if we see there is no continuation we will take out the trade or at least move or stop loss to break even any drop from there in relative to this we will look for the bigger flat and if the price follow as what i'm drawing right now then this down move we don't want to i mean we don't need to expect the price to retest the previous low as long as we see the flat then any reversal from there we will take the trade okay now just now i want to see how we can look at the full trade within this correction okay the best thing is if we move to 15 minutes because if we move to 15 minutes this is what we're looking for the first correction and the last this is the flat in relative to this any reversal from here we will take the trade now how to look for trade right now we don't have any trade setup because if you look at this one this wave we see we have internal flat technically we want to see the price drop to 1.26 as long as the price tag 1.26 any reversal from there we will take the trade or we can put over entry above this that means if this one drop to 1.26 easily we can put over entry above here which is right now from what we have is somewhere around 1.29 made this one tend to a deeper that's why after we get the if we get a down move then we know where the entry is the only thing is we put our entry above this correction okay and how about if the price didn't drop and there was a continuation from here right now at this time we can put our entry above here which is around 1.306 1.306 in case there is a continuation from here because right now we're looking at this flat as the first correction and we want to see one move up okay and if we want to put our entry above here which is as a 1.306 what we want we want to see the continuation as a short move and if the price tag with the breakout of 1.32 which is this one we start to manage move that's mean if you get any trade from here with the breakout of 1.32 we move our stop loss to break even and just let it go and we are not going to keep the trade more than two hours if it's not moving in our direction all right and as we explained we can expect this one turn to flat and if this one give us one more drop then from there easily we can for example if this one give us one more drop then easily we can adjust our entry above this correction all right as i just now uh i'll show you okay and this is what we're looking for we're looking for the if you get any trade for buy for the short term in relative to this correction we will take it okay and if i move to 15 minutes sorry one hour chart what i'm looking for let me change this one all right we want to see this on forward chart all right if i move to one hour chart what i'm looking for if i get any trade setup from this correction for buy i will take it and with the breakout of this top if there is i move my stop loss to break even if there is a continuation we will keep it but if not then we can expect this one tend to internal flat in relative to this any drop from there we can look for this flat then any reversal from there we will take the trade okay even for the bigger picture we are looking for this one this is the best which it can give us better confirmation but at the same time any short-term trade within this one we will take it as just now explained but how about if the price has start to drop from here then we are not in the, we shouldn't be in the trade because as i mentioned if the price tag based on 15 minutes and is not moving we are not going to keep the trade more than two hours but if the price there was a continuation from here it start to drop then we are not in the trade then we can put this one at the first 
correction and the last. But if the price continue drop from here, the best thing is if the price can retest the previous low in the bigger picture. Okay, but if it give us one more warp, that means it conform with this correction and the first correction and the last, the next down move, we are not expecting to price to retest the previous low. This is how we're looking at this chart. Anyway, right now, if we get any trade setup within this correction, as a short term trade, we will take it. In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.